Reset. <laughs> hey, we have a little addendum to uh, the Room 355 videos. This is your host, uh, Mr. Gratelli, and this is Mr. Phillips. Hello. Uh, guest speaker today. Mr. Phillips, this is your backyard. Yeah, this is my backyard. <laughs> well, you have a few minerals here, sir. Just a few, yeah. I'm, oh, look at this piece. Look at this piece of rose quartz over here. Like I said, quartz, you just can't trust the color because even though it's the same elemental um, uh, makeup, it's composition, it can come in many different colors, just like when you add a little speck of oregano to the sauce, changes the whole taste of the sauce. It can change the whole mineral from a rose quartz to an amethyst quartz. Look at this one over here. Where's that special one okay. that you have right over here? This is an amethyst quartz. However, it has a little iron in it. Yeah, a little, little hematite in it. A little hematite in it, yeah, which is giving it a reddish color. And also, look at how it's actually taken on its crystal arrangement shape. If the minerals cool slowly enough, and when we talk about rocks, guys, this is going to come into play. If the minerals cool slowly enough, and later on we're going to see how they make up rocks, they actually take on their full atomic structure arrangement, which is something separate from... The cleavage we talked about. Oh, we got a radioactive one back here, guys. Yeah, it is moving now. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, yeah, Mr. Phillips. I mean, he's gathering a little radioactivity. Uh, you wouldn't know it, but he's actually 20 years old. But look what the radioactivity has <laughs> done to him. It's done to me. Yeah. It's ruined me. Uh, actually, we're going to go on here and look at the rest of the rocks and minerals that he the has. The we got. Just the, absolutely spectacular. Big boulders of fluorichtorite. What is that called, sir? Fluorichtorite. Fluorichtorite. That's, wow. That's the only place you can find it except outside of China. Those are the new garnets that we've been Wait, getting on the River Wait, that came from China? Valley. No, no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Remember, the, the, the only place they have uh, fluorite now is there. But those garnets, you can go up to River Valley. It's just above Lake... Nipissing. Okay. You can haul out boulders of that. Keep that in mind, guys. You want to go dig boulders up for those. Boulders of that. Now, once again, these are all the things that are in the earth. Elements make up minerals. And we're going to talk later how minerals make up rocks. But I wanted to show you how into it that you can be as an individual and go hunting for these special gems all over the planet. It's should be the, the, that, the mineral of New York State, because New York State's the only place where hexagonite you hear is, that, guys? Is, is available. And look at that quartz a, a matrix. Oh, my goodness. Now, we're These also going to show, by the way. I'm going to show you guys. See, this is, you see the six-sided structure of quartz when it takes on its full prismatic shape under just the right conditions of evaporation and formation, because it's not always out of magma. Sometimes it's by just slow evaporative processes. And you can see these beautiful crystals. What's special about Herkimer, New York, which is one of the places we were yeah. going this year and we have uh, every time, is it double terminates. Not only a point on the top, but also a point at the end, two termination points forming 18 natural faces. And we actually call them faces we don't call them facets because facets, like with diamond, diamonds have to be cut. Herkimer diamonds don't. They form naturally on their own, these faces. Just wanted to show you guys what's out there. Um, fascinating. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Come in the house. Look at the piece of the stuff I got from our 